Hola amigos, ¿qué tal? Sean bienvenidos de nuevo al canal. El día de hoy vamos a hacer otra práctica. Miren, es bien importante que estemos practicando simulaciones de entrevista. Entre más practiquemos, más cómodos se van a sentir el día que tengan pues su entrevista. El día de hoy, ya saben, como siempre, vamos a incluir preguntas personales, sobre todo preguntas cívicas y las preguntas Have you ever? Vamos a incluir una que otra eh, definición porque de repente nos preguntan estas durante la entrevista y para que es bien preparado. Ya sabes que toda esta información la hacemos de forma gratuita, lo único que te pedimos es que nos ayudes con un like, que te suscribas, que compartas el video con personas que les puede resultar útiles, que nos sigas en la cuenta de Instagram, cualquier pregunta que tengas nos la puedes mandar en Instagram, ciudadanía-ahora. Y recuerda también dejar comentarios de qué otros videos te gustaría que hiciéramos para que te pudieran ayudar en tu proceso. Muy bien, sin nada más que decir, comencemos con la práctica del día de hoy. Hi. Can you please tell me why are you here today? Can you please tell me why do you want to become a U.S. citizen? Can you please raise your right hand? Do you swear or affirm that the statements you will give today will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help me God? Please take a seat. Can I see your permanent resident card and your passport, please? Thank you. When was the last time that you traveled out of the United States? Where did you travel? And what was the day that you came back into the United States? What was the purpose of your traveling? In the last five years, how many times have you traveled out of the United States? In those five trips, how many days in total you were outside of the United States? Since you submitted your application, have you traveled again? Where did you travel? And what was the purpose of that trip? I see. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Do you understand what voting is? Can you please explain to me what voting is? Do you now have or that you ever had inherited title in order of nobility from any foreign country? Do you understand what a foreign country is? How about a heritage title? Have you ever been confined into a mental institution? Have you ever failed to file your taxes? In what year you said you did not pay your taxes? Since you become a permanent resident, have you ever not filed your taxes? Have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? What's your opinion on communism? Have you 
Have you ever been a member of a totalitarian party? Have you ever been a member of a terrorist organization? What is a terrorist organization? Have you ever persecuted anyone because of race, religion, national origin, political opinion? Have you ever advocated the overthrow of any government by force or violence? Have you ever sell, provide weapons to any person or help another person sell, give or provide weapons to any person? Do you understand what a weapon is? What is a weapon? Have you ever received any type of military, paramilitary or weapons training? Can you please provide me your full legal name? Do you want to legally change your name? Have you used a different name before? Have you ever been involved in genocide? Do you understand what genocide is? Have you ever been involved in torture? Killing or trying to kill someone? Badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose? Have you ever been involved in not letting someone practice his or her religion? Do you understand what a religion is? Can you please explain to me what a religion is? Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? Have you ever been in prison or jail? What is a prison or jail? Have you ever been arrested? Have you ever attempted to commit or assisted in committing a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? Have you ever been deported from the United States? Have you ever been placed in deportation proceedings? Have you ever been a habitual drunker? What is a habitual drunker? Okay, can you please provide me your current address? For how long have you been living at this address? Can you please provide me your date of birth? In what country you were born? Can you please provide me your height and your weight? How do you support yourself? Where do you work? Since you submitted your application, have your job changed?
What's the name of the new job that you have? Since when are you working at this place? Are either of your parents U.S. citizens? Do you have any children? How old are your children? Are either your children U.S. citizens? What is your marriage status? When did you get married? Can I see the marriage certificate? Thank you. What is your spouse name? Is your spouse a US citizen? Okay, let's do the civic test. Who was the president during World War I? Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. What is the rule of law? Who does a U.S. Senator represent? Who vetoes bills? Can you please read the following sentence? Can you please write the following sentence? Abraham Lincoln was the president during the Civil War. Abraham Lincoln was the president during the Civil War. Abraham Lincoln was the president during the Civil War. Okay, if you write this, you're correct. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? What is the Constitution? Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Are you willing to take the food oath of allegiance to the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combat services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Can you please give me an example, a way that you can support or help 
the U.S. Armed Forces and a non-combat service. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian directions? Okay, thank you. Can you please review all the information is correct? If everything is correct, sign and print. Hi, how are you doing today? I know you're nervous, but just relax and you will do okay. Before we begin the interview, since you submitted your application, has any information or anything has changed, such as your address, your job, travel, anything has changed. Okay, nothing has changed, okay. Can you please raise your right hand for me? Do you swear or affirm that the statements you will give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help me God? Thank you. Please take a seat. Can I see your permanent resident card and your passport, please? In what year you become a permanent resident? Have you used a different name other than the legal name that you have? And what was the reason of using a different name? Would you like to change your name? Would you like to legally change your name? In the last five years, how many times have you traveled out of the United States? Where do you travel to? And what was the purpose of visiting this country? How many days in total do you spend out of the United States? When was the last trip that you took out of the United States? How many days was this trip for? And what was the purpose of this trip? Did you travel by yourself? When is your date of birth? Where were you born? Are either of your parents U.S. citizens? Are you currently employed? What's the name of the company that you work for? For how long have you been working there? What was your previous job?
For how long did you work there? Now, since you submitted your application, has your job changed? Did you stop working due to the pandemic? Okay, good to know. Can you please provide me your current address? Can you spell the name of the street for me, please? For how long have you been living at this address? What was your previous address? For how long did you live at the previous address? What was the purpose of you switching address? What's your marriage status? How many times have you been married? When did you get divorced? And when did you get married again? What is your spouse name? Can you please spell your spouse names for me? Is your spouse a U.S. citizen? Do you have any children? How old are your children? Are either of your children U.S. citizens? Can you please give me the names of your children that are U.S. citizens? What is your relationship with your children? Now let's do the civic test. What does the Constitution do? We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? What is the highest court in the United States? Name one right only for United States citizens. Why did the colonists fight the British? Mm -hmm. 
Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Great. Can you please read the following sentence? Can you please write the following sentence? Washington was the first president. Washington was the first president. Here's the correct way to write it. Now tell me, have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? Why not? Can you please tell me in Spanish what I just asked you? Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election? Why not? When was the last time that you voted in a federal, state, or local election in the United States? Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined into a mental institution? When was the last time that you filed your taxes? Since you become a permanent resident, have you ever failed to file your taxes? Do you understand what fail to file your taxes means? Can you please tell me what fail to file your taxes means? Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or any way associate with any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, clap, society, or similar group in the United States or in other location in the world. Have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? What is communism? Have you ever been a member of a totalitarian party? Have you ever been a member of a terrorist organization? Have you ever advocated the overthrow of any government by force or violence? Have you ever persecuted any person because of race, religion, national origin, political opinion? What is persecute or persecution? Have you ever been involved in genocide? Have you ever been involved in killing or trying to kill someone? Badly hurting or hurt a person on purpose. Have you ever been involved in torture? Have you ever been involved in not letting someone practice his or her religion? Have you ever worked in a prison or jail? 
a detention facility. A prison camp. Have you ever been a habitual drunker? What is a habitual drunker? Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for a prostitution? Have you ever smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics? Have you ever been married to more than one person at the same time? Have you ever married someone in order to obtain immigration benefits? Have you ever lied to any U.S. government official to gain entry or admission or to gain an immigration benefit while in the United States? Have you ever been in prison or jail? Have you ever been detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? Have you ever been cited to court? Have you ever sell, give, or provide weapons to any person or help another person sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? What is a weapon? Have you ever received any type of military, paramilitary, or weapons training? Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? What is the form of government of the United States? Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Do you understand what bear arms means? Can you please explain to me what bear arms on behalf of the United States means? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combat services in the U.S. Armed Forces? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian directions? Okay, please review all the information in the tablet is correct. If everything is correct, sign and print your name. Congratulations, I will recommend your interview as approved. ¿Qué les pareció esta nueva modalidad? Ya saben, siempre estoy buscando sistemas nuevos para sacarlos de la rutina y siempre tengan esa capacidad de estar practicando constantemente. En esta ocasión quise hacer esto, dos entrevistas seguidas para que tú dedicas media hora al estudio y no, y no necesites regresar a poner el video de nuevo. Entonces, espero que te haya sido útil. Deja en los comentarios decir fue, dale like, ya sabes. Mucha suerte si tienes tu entrevista esta semana y ve a ver cualquiera de estos dos videos si no los has visto. Nos vemos en el próximo video. Chao.